Welcome back, Clash fans. Big Bad Lion here with another War Recap video. This is actually going to be one of my attacks from the last war, and I'm bringing back one of my old favorites, the Golem Lava Hound and Balloon. Uh, I scouted this base. I've seen that the Expos reported to the ground like predominantly a lot are these days. That gives you the green light for your air attack if you can manage it. Now, the essential things that you're looking for with your kill squad, it only has to be a very small one, but you need to be able to neutralize the queen and the CC from primarily. And if you can get to any of the air defenses, that's a total bonus. I bring in a golem with four whizzies to clear out the buildings on the outside. That way I can open this compartment up with a few wall breakers and let my royals do the rest. As they come in, as with any time that a queen is exposed and your king's out there, that king will lock onto the queen and he'll give her a spanking. The CC comes out, I layer the poison spell across the path of where that those uh, CC is going to go. It gives those few whizzies in the uh, queen the ability to finish taking them out. Now you have to get your attack started quicker than, than any other attack with a lava hound because time can be a factor. I bring in two uh, lava hounds from the northwest, one from the southwest, wrapping my balloons behind those lava hounds at the targeted uh, defensive units as they're coming in. Now when you drop your uh, rage spells with this style of attack, make sure that you're leading all of your balloons and your hounds through the entire duration of that rage. Give them the benefit of being able to stay in that rage as long as possible. Those lava hounds and pups do a tremendous amount of damage, and especially when they're raged. Make sure you don't overplan and take too many lava hounds um, because they take so much space. That's 30 space, and if you're, all of your lava hounds aren't popping, you're taking too many. You want them to pop. You want them pups on the field. You don't want them lava hounds tanking at the very end because they take up a lot of damage sl slots that can be either with minions or with more balloons. I personally like more balloons, so that's what I take. Um, as you can see, watch these pups as they're gonna start cleaning up this base. When they get on that town hall with a small group of them, they just annihilate it. Now with so many ground attacks being used now with your giant healer combo with your hogs or with your, your Valkyries and your hogs, your bowlers and your hogs, all of those things people are so scared of now that they're pointing those expos to the ground. And now that the recent change to the balloons, which they didn't make a huge change, they didn't change their movement speed, but they did change how fast they drop that first bomb. That first bomb comes, the, when they drop that first bomb, uh, it makes a bit of difference, especially when you have a pack of balloons sitting over a whizzy tower that would have taken them out in the past. Now three or four balloons will take that whizzy tower out. Uh, so when you see these expos pointed to the ground, uh, make sure that you're giving some serious thought to your air attacks because they are viable again as long as you prepare and you get it started quickly. Well, guys, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button down on the bottom. Give me that like. Give me some comments. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. And until then, clash on. Have a great day.